Hey guys, and it's deadlift day. Blimming love deadlift. It's got to be my favourite exercise at the moment. And here I am lifting 175 kilograms, and this is my second set. And as per the generic bulk routine, I am aiming for six to eight reps, and I believe I got eight reps on this set. Uh, not that the final set was actually record. Uh, rep was recorded. Coming on to my second set here, and you notice I'm using wrist straps, and I've I you don't want to use these as necessarily as a beginner when your strength isn't exceeding your grip strength, but my grip strength definitely isn't up to par, and I can do a hell of a lot more weight using these straps. So that's why I use them. Just use them as a tool, not as like a necessity, because if you start using them for everything, then your grip strength is just going to go to shit. As I get tired here, annoyingly my back is starting to bend a bit more than I'd like. With deadlifts you really want to keep that back tight. Uh, this is my gym partner Cam, he's a legend, enough said. And uh, just ask if we want to video his form just to check it for himself. And uh, he's quite new to deadlifts, new to train, training properly in general. And here it's just, you can see his back's a bit bent when he lifts, but in general he's doing quite well. You have to remember it's you want to move as one, it's not hips first and then up with the chest, it's as one. That's it. And my final set here, you'll see you want to keep the bar as close as you can to the body, almost grind it up the shins. I often come out with cuts and bruises on my shins and then just roll it down almost on your down on your thighs. You don't want to hyperextend at the bottom at the top, sorry, and you don't wanna have your back overly bent, you want to keep it as straight as you can with your ass out. Come on Steve, get this last rep out. Yow! Or oh, back a bit bent there, but not too bad. As a beginner to deadlifts, I could have started cam on some platforms for the weights, so that, keep that back it was not as much depth to, to go down, down, because if you're not flexible enough to start tight, tight, from a full tight. depth, uh, platforms can really help with that. Notice that Cam's controlling these eccentrics quite slowly. As a beginner, that's fine, but uh, eccentric just needs to be controlled. It doesn't necessarily be super slow. That's it. So mainly a hamstring. They principally hit the hamstring over the quad, but they hit everything. So I wanted to move on to a leg press here. Having a lower leg uh, placement means that I'm hitting my quads more so than my hamstrings. I think I'm pushing up here 265 kilograms plus 30 kilograms, which I think the machine weighs. So really push myself hard, digging deep, going bright red in the face. Always go bright red in the face, but remember to breathe. I am breathing. Just remember to breathe, guys. You gotta breathe. And here's Cam, and he is doing some awesome facial expressions as well as we will see. Just about to squeeze out the largest of his life and oh god yeah that was a good one it can good pushing it keep pushing that out you see he's holding his quads there that's often good for a mind muscle connection so try that one out it might make you focus more it's just finishing wiping up yep it's all over can good job nasty <laughs>